Hello everybody and welcome to the beginning of the new Python for Ethical Hacking course. Now, in this course we will be coding our own tools that we covered in the Ethical Hacking course. Now, for some of you that are coming basically first to this course and didn't uh, watch any other Ethical Hacking courses instead of this one, I will make sure to make this course beginner friendly and explain everything as we go. We will start off by actually installing our environment, setting up our Kel Linux machine, which if you are not a beginner and you actually watch some of the ethical hacking courses, you probably already have the Kel Linux machine installed, so you can skip the introductory part uh, and go right into the coding section. Now, what uh, we will be doing in this uh, course is, as it says, we will be coding some of our own tools that we will use for our ethical hacking attacks. Now, if you take, for example, any ethical hacking course, it consists of scanning, enumeration, uh, uh, basically exploitation, uh, backdoors, keyloggers, uh, brute forcers, and any other attacks on the websites, for example. There are lots of other things as well, but all of those things you actually perform with tools that other people created. Right now what we want to do is actually code some of our own tools and make them useful for our future attacks. So uh, we will start off by coding some of the uh, port uh, scanners. For example, we will try to create something similar to the nmap. We will start off our attack by scanning the port, scanning the target checking out for the banners for the versions of, of uh, software running on the target system on an open port, and then we will proceed to actually exploitation and attacking, brute forcing SSH for example, brute forcing FTP, and all other protocols as well. Uh, we will also code the uh, reverse shell, which if you're coming from my previous ethical hacking course for beginners to advance, uh, you probably already have uh, an idea what the reverse shell is since I covered it in that course. But right now, what we will do with that reverse shell, we will take and add some different functions and try some different things with it, uh, as well as actually maintaining the everything we did in the ethical hacking course. Now, if you didn't watch that, don't worry. I will cover everything from the beginning uh, in that program, and uh, we will also cover everything in great details, as I will try to explain it the best, even for the users who don't know anything about Python. Now the thing is, I will not be actually showing you the uh, how to code in Python. Uh, basically, this is not a Python course, but I will, however, explain everything as we go and code our own tools. Since actually coding uh, or teaching you how to code in Python will take a lot of our time, I will tell you everything that we are going through in great details. So don't worry, even if you don't have any previous experience, you can still attend this course and you can learn a lot from it. Now, as I said, we will start off by actually creating our virtual environment. We will need the Kali Linux machine. Uh, we will need the VirtualBox program as well. Now, the Kali Linux machine is where we will actually run our attacks, where we will code our own tools, where we will compile them and run them. Uh, it is good to say, or I should say actually, that you can also run all of these attacks on Windows, or not run, you can actually code on Windows if you want to. If you, for example, have Python on Windows, you can actually code all of these tools in Windows environment. Now, if we run into something that can be run into the Windows environment, I will make sure to actually say that before we start coding. But the for you to best follow this course, I would uh, advise you to actually download Kali Linux, or if you have it, you can just run it up. For those of you who don't have it, I will show you in the next sections, or basically in the next videos, how you can download and install your Kali Linux machine. Right after that, we'll go straight into the port, uh, port uh, scanning section, where we'll teach, or uh, where I will teach you how you can actually code your own port scanner. So, that would be about it for this introductory part. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this course, I hope you will learn a lot from it, and I hope you will use it for uh, your own purposes as long as they are on the legal side. So that's another thing I should mention, uh, basically don't 
please don't use this for for anything that's not legal such as scanning targets you do not own such as attacking targets you do not have permission to attack or basically anything that doesn't go into the legal side so that would be about it hope i see you in the next lecture where i will show you how you can download virtualbox the newest version and Kali linux 2019.8 version or point a version pardon me so hope you enjoyed this introductory video and i hope i see you in the next one